Hey everyone, good morning. Valentine events are going on on Infinity Island, so I will do a quick review on them. First thing, there is double drops going on, which means on any Dynamax adventures, normal or elite, you will get double the resources for spending your energy. So that means you can just come over here on your Pokemon on the rank up or star up option and any resource that you want to raid over here. So let's just say that I want to raid physical attack for my Excadrill and I will do a Blitz times 10 and it will give me double the resources, at least related to the resources of the maps. So as you can see, I'm getting two cards instead of one, even though related to the event items, the holiday coins, you only get one. Speaking of the event items, let's take a look. Valentine Pokemon. So it's basically the same event that usually has like on the holiday events, but everything is pink. <laughs> but okay, there's a difference. There's a difference. There's actually three Pokemon this time and not two. So there's Zacian. Everything is fairy type, by the way. I think, I think it's to match the Valentine... Uh, theme so everything is fairy type we have a Zacian so which promises to be a very strong Pokemon it's a $300 Pokemon then we have Diancie which can be a 15 to $25 Pokemon I'll explain a little bit further and then we have a Gardevoir which is the free Pokemon to obtain even though Gardevoir you can also get it in the Safari so it's not something I would actually recommend so same logic as all the other events you can obtain the free currency the holiday coins and you can obtain the coupons coupons are by recharging and this one is by raiding the maps as we saw a while ago the exchange for the coupons is pretty much the same as you can see we can obtain a Zacian over here and then the normal exchange for the holiday coins has an extra Pokemon over here there's a little bit of a catch the Gardevoir costs 180 if we go over here to the bonus drops this is the limit that you can actually get every day so you can only get 60 of these holiday coins or these hearts every day the event will last for three days which means that you can indeed get 180 and get Gardevoir but as you can already understand those three days are not enough to get Tyancy you need to get it with a little bit of recharge if you are not interested in any of those Pokemon and if you are wondering if you should get Gardevoir my advice is no don't get Gardevoir because you can catch it on the Safari you should instead get something like well sandbags sandbags is not what I always recommend there's a lot of things going on over here but sandbags is usually the way to go and of course don't forget there's things on discount get the energy get the gacha coins get whatever else you need you always have to save the diamonds for these kinds of events like that so I was talking about Diancie Diancie requires 230 hearts which is 50 more than Gardevoir and in order to get these 50 extra hearts the only way would actually be over here on the supreme exchange and exchange coupons all the way into hearts so technically if you are needing 50 hearts it means that you would need 25 coupons now there's other events going on that you can get coupons and let me tell you about that i gotta say that coupons is only recharging and in my opinion for the way that you would get the most out of your buck if you really want that Diancy would be to do two times this one but on separated days because right now it's weekend so we do have lucky star event going on for those who don't know with five dollars you can just go and get all of these three rewards because you can uh, participate on lucky star so five dollars today five dollars tomorrow that's ten dollars and five dollars today five dollars tomorrow you get five coupons today five coupons tomorrow remember that we need 25 for that diancy so you still need 15 that's where the cash bundles come in because there's also limited offers for this weekend for this event of the valentines and for also five dollars which would not count for the lucky star by the way like the bundles usually don't count for the lucky star because they don't count as a normal recharge so for an extra five dollars you get 15 of those coupons so it makes the 25 that you need and you actually like you get a lot of the good stuff in return you get like safari tickets you get 150 uh, 50 essence so it's quite decent so yeah if you do want to get the diancy that's the cheapest way to go also, since the event lasts for three days, remember to balance your spendings because if you want to buy items that are over here on discount, 
Well, just keep in mind the amount of diamonds that you want to plan on spending. Balance your spendings of diamonds across the event so that you also get the most out of the cumulative consumption. You always want to try and balance. For example, I'm going to aim personally for 5,000 diamonds every day during the event. And I will try not to go above 5,000 because it would be a waste and 5,000 already gets me a lot of resources in return. By the way, yesterday on stream, I did these two. We have a mega T-tar with 10 stream over here, and then we have an angry mole. <laughs> an excadrill, shiny mega excadrill, which honestly is very nice. It's still under development. It still need, needs a little bit more physical attack. Then again, it also has access to sword stamps. I will have a little bit more of this probably during the week or just on the next live stream, so yeah, stay tuned. My goal would be to get this angry mold to 110,000 power, but it will be hard. It's an S rarity Pokemon. It only has 628 of total strength compared to everything else, because usually power is also according to the stats, usually to the base stats that a Pokemon can have. So technically on a Pokemon like Mega Ash Greninja that has a total of 780 total strength, it's much easier to power up compared to this Pokemon that has less total strength. This was the video, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.